Hi, everyone. Sean Gilliam here. Welcome to another episode of my podcast, Real Estate on the Front Range. Today, we're looking at the monthly market update for July of 2023. I'm going to cover the local data year over year, month over month, so you can see how things are trending and how things are changing overall with our real estate market here in Northern Colorado. I'm also going to highlight the inflation rate and how that's impacting the mortgage interest rate. Usually those go hand in hand. If one goes up, the other one does too and vice versa. So I'll take a look at that data and more and help you get more knowledge about this real estate market and how might that help you make a decision as to whether or not you should make a move. So stay tuned and we'll get to the details. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Real Estate on the Front Range, my podcast where I cover all things real estate here in the Front Range in Northern Colorado. Join me to get market updates, tips, and information on relevant topics to make sure you're fully informed before you buy or sell your next home. This is Sean Gilliam, your host, and I look forward to you joining me on Spotify, Google, Apple, or whatever your favorite podcast is for the latest episodes. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get started with our inflation rate. And you can see this change overall. This is going from last June when it was at its highest at 9.1%. Now it's down to 3% as of our most recent data collected uh, last month in the month of June. So uh, that is a good sign. Inflation is going down. Uh, And like I said, usually the mortgage interest rate goes hand in hand. Right now, the mortgage interest rate for a 30-year fixed rate loan conventional is about 6.9%. So it was up uh, above 7% last week before we got this data in. And so it has gone down a little bit, but not as much as we'd like to see. However, I would highlight that with this, uh, the uh, inflation rate going down, that that bodes well for what our mortgage interest rates will do. How soon that will change, uh, that all depends. But when you look at the data, it should be going down before too long. Now, ideally, I think if the market or the interest rate gets down below 6%, I think the market will get moving again. As we look at the data, you'll see that right now it's just kind of, uh, it's stabilizing. It's kind of a standoff right now. Buyers and sellers are both kind of sitting back waiting to see what rates are going to do, what the inflation rate is going to do, what the economy is going to do. And so as such, there's not a whole lot of movement on the market. We have seen uh, less inventory and inventory sitting around a little bit longer. So Uh, I think that's a a big cry from what was happening last year or last spring. So uh, again, what's going to get the market to go from kind of a stable standoff mode into something that's more robust and gets uh, the housing market moving? I think that will be those interest rates getting down into the fives. And so hopefully that'll happen before this year uh, ends. That is the prediction by all the experts in this field. And so we'll see what happens with that. But right now, the market overall is stable if you want to the the overall 30,000 foot view of what the real estate market is doing here in Northern Colorado. So now let's go ahead and get into the details and I'll show you exactly what's happening in Boulder, Larimer and Weld counties. All right, let's start with data for Boulder County and I'll highlight a few of the key metrics that we like to keep an eye on. The first one is new listings and that's down almost 20% from last year at this time. So Again, that's part of that standoff. A lot of sellers are holding off because those sellers would be buyers. And if those interest rates are high for them and the inventory uh, doesn't have much to offer, they're going to sit it out and wait and see what happens. Another factor that weighs into that too is that a lot of homeowners refinance into below 3% mortgage interest rates. And so they're enjoying that as well uh, before they consider the prospect of selling their home and then paying a higher interest rate Uh, when they purchase a new home. So that's part of the reason why that uh, new listings is down so significantly. So it's down almost 20%. Closed sales is down 11% from last year at this time at 304. Days out on market until sale is 47 days before a home goes under contract after it's been listed. That's up 62% from last year at this time when homes would go under contract on average within 29 days of going on the market. Median sales price is down 10% at 833,500. And the average sales price is down uh, merely 2.2% at $1,145,801. So overall still Boulder County is a high cost market. The percent of list price received for a home in Boulder County is 99.8%. That's down 3% from what it was last year when it was 102.9%. And then the inventory of homes for sale is up almost 10% at 618 homes on the market overall. And that's up from 563 homes uh, for last year at this time. 
And as such, uh, the month's supply of inventory is up to 2.7. That's up 42.1% uh, up from last year at this time when it's at 1.9. So again, a uh, different market than what we had last year at this time. Uh, June was about the cutoff. That's when those interest rates shot up above 6% and it caused the market to stall. And a lot of people went to the sidelines to wait to see what was going to happen. So that uh, is the explanation or the reason behind why uh, the market uh, is, is changing, especially when we look at month over month data, as we will hear shortly. But let's jump over to Larimer County. New listings is down 15.5% from last year. So there's 667 homes on the market in June. Uh, compared to 789 homes on the market uh, in June of last year. Closed sales is at 436. That's down 26.2%, so not as much activity. Again, that's all because of uh, the overall market standoff. Days on market until sale. Homes uh, went under contract on average within 52 days. That's up 62.5% from last year at this time when it was 32 days. Median sales price is only down 1.7%. So the median sales price for a home in Larimer County is 590,000 compared to 600,000 last year at this time. And the average sales price is up 3.3%. So the average sales price for a home in Larimer County is $702,992 for a home. And that's up from 680,000 and some change from last year at this time. On average, homes are selling at 100.4% percent of their original list price. That's down 2.3% from last year when homes were selling at 102.8%. Inventory of homes for sale is at 856. That's up 10.3% uh, from last year when uh, there were uh, 776 homes on the market for sale. So uh, we are seeing a difference. Uh, the reason being for this key metric uh, to be increasing compared to the number of new listings decreasing is becomes as uh, because homes are sitting in the market longer and so month over month when we collect that data and make those comparisons uh, those homes that were listed over a month ago are still on the market and so they're getting counted in there the month supply of inventory in relation to this has gone up 35.3 percent from last year at this time so 2.3 month supply of inventory and that is up from 1.7 month supply of inventory last year at this time. And bear in mind, the balanced market that uh, would be ideal for buyers and sellers is about six months supply of inventory. So still by the numbers, a strong seller's market, but because of the economic factors that we have going on, it's not as uh, exciting for sellers right now as you would expect. Those higher interest rates are uh, minimizing uh, the amount of buyers that are out there and are willing to pay more uh, or over list price uh, than they were last year at this time when people, again, last spring, uh, seeing homes going under contract for 10, 20, 50, 100,000 plus over list price. We're not seeing that happen. We are seeing, I will say that in the markets where homes are about 400 to 450, we're seeing homes get multiple offers and selling over list price to the tune of maybe 10 to 25,000. And that is where uh, first time home buyers are at, that is where investors are at. That's that's the affordability uh, or the most affordable homes in our market right now. So that's why there's a lot of activity there. All right, jumping over here to Weld County, new listings, 559. That's down 32.6% from last year at this time when there were 829 new listings. Closed sales is at 486 and that's down over 25% from last year at this time. Days on market until sale is 49. That's up 36.1% from last year at this time when uh, the average time it took for a home to go under contract was 36. So uh, definitely homes are staying on the market a little bit longer here in Weld County. Median sales price in Weld County is up 1.6% at 512,000, almost 513,000 from last year at this time when it was at 505,000. Average sales price is up 2%. The average price for a home in Weld County is 562,000, and that is up from 550,000, almost 551,000 from last year at this time. Percent of list price received is 99.5%. So on average, homes are selling just a little bit uh, below list price, uh, but that still uh, bodes well for, for sellers. They're getting almost everything they wanted uh, when they go to sell their home. And that is down 2.3% from last year at this time when homes were selling at 101.8%. Inventory of homes for sale is at 845. That's down 8.5% from last year at this time when it was at 924. And the month supply of inventory is two, two month supply of inventory. 
And that is up 25% from last year at this time when it was at 1.6. So again, uh, not huge changes overall. We are seeing that month supply of inventory uh, going up compared to last year. But again, that's just because homes are sitting on the market longer and uh, the number of new listings is not increasing and they're not closing as fast. And we don't see as, as a significant amount of closed sales like we saw last year at this time. Again, that figure was down 25.5%. So that is overall what's happening in the market year over year. Now let's switch over to month over month data. I'll start here with Boulder County. And we can see comparing May to June, uh, the new listings has hardly changed. So 441 in May versus June when it was 440, that's down 0.2%. The number of closed sales has gone up 8.9%. So that's good. Uh, we saw a little more activity uh, month over month in Boulder County. The days on market until sale has hardly changed at all. So on average, a home would go under contract within 48 days in May and in June, it was 47. So down 2.1%. The average sales price is up 3.5%. On average, a home sells for one million one hundred forty-eight or one hundred forty-five thousand eight hundred one dollars, and that's uh, just up about forty thousand dollars from uh, May of this year. Percent of list price received has stayed the same, so ninety-nine point eight percent. And then the inventory of homes for sale is slightly up by eleven percent at six hundred and eighteen homes for sale on the market in Boulder County, compared to five hundred and fifty-four homes on the market in May. The month supply of inventory is at 2.7, and that is up 11.7% from May when it was 2.4. Again, uh, not a huge change, and that's that's indicative of a stabilizing market. I, like I said, I call it a standoff because a lot of people, I think, are waiting on the sidelines, or more people than usual are waiting on the sidelines because of those economic, economic factors that we're facing right now. Larimer County, new listings is up 4.3%, so there's 667 homes on the market compared to 639 uh, that were uh, newly listed on the market. Closed sales is at 436, and that's down 6.2% from May when it was at 464, not a huge change. Days on market before a home goes under contract is 52, and that's down 3.8% compared to May when it was at 54. The average sales price for a home in Larimer County is about $703,000, and that's up 4.9% from what it was in May when it was at about 669, almost 670. The percent of list price received has slightly gone up, so it's at 100.4% of the original list price. That's up 0.3% from May when it was at 100.1%. The inventory of homes for sale has gone up 22.6%. And that's at 856 compared to May when it was at 682. And related to that is our month supply of inventory. That has gone up almost 25% at 2.3 uh, month supply of inventory versus 1.8 in May. So those are the figures for Larimer County month over month. Now let's take a look at Weld County. We'll see similar uh, data. The new listings is down 6.1% at 559 for June compared to 594 for May. Closed sales is at 486, that's up 1.9% compared to May when it was at 477. Days on market until sale or going under contract is at 49, so that's dropped a little bit from May when it was at 53, that's down 7.8%. The average sale price for a home in Weld County is 561,800 and that is up 0.1% from May when it was at 561,000 and some change. The percent of list price received is down 0.5%. So on average in Weld County homes sell at 99.5% of their original list price compared to May when it was 100%. And then the inventory of homes for sale has gone up about 7.4% at 845 homes on the market for sale in Weld County for June compared to 785 in May. And then the month supply of inventory has gone up a little bit, uh, up about 10.5% in June when it's at two months supply of inventory compared to 1.8. So those are the figures overall for Larimer, Boulder, and Weld counties year over year and month over month. Overall, like I said, the market is stabilizing. It's kind of a standoff right now. And I think one of the things that's going to help change that is when those mortgage interest rates drop down below 6% and stay there for a while. Immediately, some people are going to jump on that opportunity, uh, but I think more and more people will jump in too when we see that stabilizing below 6%.
Hopefully that'll happen again before year's end, so we'll see. If you have any questions about the data, or if you're thinking about buying or selling a home and you just need some, some information that would help you uh, get off the fence or move in one direction or another, don't hesitate to get in touch. I offer free consultation. I'd be able to, or be glad to talk with you about your circumstances and help you make the best decision moving forward. Don't hesitate to get in touch. You can reach me here at 970-313-6706, or you can see my contact information as well at the end of this video. We'll look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.